Operation Unit. The smart meter at the top left can do a lot of things, but what we're interested in is exactly how efficiently we're using electricity. Here's your basic electric meter. This is the GrowSave controller, and on the right is an electric motor that requires about 5 amps to operate. This motor represents your air conditioner, dishwasher, garage door opener, pool pump, refrigerator, and anything that uses a motor. The device I have in my hand is an amp meter. It will tell us how much power is actually going to the motor and how much electricity you're paying for. Let's turn on the electric motor and take a look at the efficiency meter. It's showing that the motor is running at 27% efficiency. Now let's test the power going out of the meter and going into the electric motor. They're both the same number, about 4.9 amps. Now let's turn on the GrowSave controller. The first thing we want to look at is the efficiency meter. It's changed from being 27% to 89% efficient. This is because the GrowSave controller is recycling a large amount of a reactive electricity that was being wasted. Now let's look at how much electricity is going to the motor. It's still the same 4.9 amps because that's what's needed to run the motor. Here's the big difference. Now when we measure the amount of power we're paying for, we see a decrease from 4.9 amps to 1.34 amps. Let's do that again. The motor's getting about 5 amps, but we're only paying for 1.34 amps. The GrowSave controller is recycling the difference of over 3 amps back to the motor, and that's how the controller saves you money. This is representative of the reactive electricity that you have to pay for but isn't needed.